So I wanna share with you a little bit about how I have um, come from being a single mom, um, being lonely, being super sad, being um, very hopeless, living with my parents, living paycheck to paycheck, um, never being able to get ahead, and how I've now be, been able to be a stay-at-home mom for almost four years and be able to now make five figures a month from my phone doing what I do. And also I wanna share with you a little bit about um, how you can do it as well. This is just to show you a little bit and open your eyes up to there's other options and to know that when you're ready I'm here I'm not going anywhere so um, but I always know that you know if you don't know about something then you don't know I always say if you don't know you don't know <laughs> so I just want to share this with you open it maybe even plant a seed to where this might you might need this now in your life and you might need this nine months from now in your life but just know that I'm here and I'm ready and I'm ready to help you be able to make some extra income from your phone, whether it be um, you know, paying for college, whether it be paying for your um, um, a kid a vacation with your family, whether it be um, getting out of debt, whether it be becoming a stay-at-home mom, maybe if you're pregnant right now and you're already having those thoughts, whatever it is, whether it's $500 a month you wanna make extra or if you wanna make five figures a month extra from your phone, I can help you do that. So let's kind of dive into like my story and I'll share with you also about how you can make some extra money doing this. So um, my story started actually in 2013. Um, I, uh, October 2013, I found out I was pregnant. It completely rocked my world. <laughs> I was not expected at all. Um, I got pregnant with my high school sweetheart and life was just like switched upside down. I was the marketing director for UCF housing. Um, at 23 years old, I had a great job, great money. And I was like, life is good. And then God was like, hold up, you are going to have a little baby. And it completely, my heart was so full knowing that I was going to be a mom but my head was so scared because I was, all these fears came in of, am I gonna be a good mom? Am I gonna be able to be with him? Like, how am I gonna do this? I, um, you know, I'm a single mom. And so I'm like, how am I gonna balance like work and and um, my child and like all this stuff? And is it, am I gonna be able to provide the things for him? All these fears and anxiety started to bubble up. But all I knew was that I wanted to be at home with him. Like that was like my point blank, wanted to do it. And everybody has their own, you know, why they want to be able to do something. And mine was just because I wanted to make sure my son knew that I am like, mommy is there for him. Um, any time of the day, morning, um, afternoon, you know, if he gets sick, mommy can cuddle him. If he wanted a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or a grilled cheese for lunch, mommy will make him a grilled cheese. But you know, life happens and I was, I could not see, nor did I know how to be able to do that because life just, you know, we, we were brought up to where it's just, you know, you go to college, you go high school, you graduate high school, you go to college, you um, go, you know, start your job and you're paying off a whole bunch of debt that you got in college. And then eventually you'll start be basically being able to maybe, maybe, select few of us be able to not live paycheck to paycheck. But most, I believe it's 80% 80 or 86% of the world is living paycheck to paycheck, um, which is crazy because there's so many other options, but I don't think people talk about them enough. So I wanted to explain these and, and um, share with you that you can also do this. And so, um, in May 2014, my son was born and he was so adorable. He had like a head full of dark hair and now he's like dirty blonde because he lost all that hair and now he's he's um, absolutely, absolutely adorable. But um, May, so I had him in May and in June 2014, I had to go back to work. It was really hard. You know, I, I knew in my mind and my heart I wanted to be at home with him, but I just didn't know how. And so... I went back to work and then um, August 2014, somebody on Facebook messaged me and she's like, hey, have you tried that crazy rap thing? And I was like, chicken Caesar wrap? Like, what are you talking about? I've never heard of these before, which our skinny wrap wraps help tighten, tone, and firm in 45 minutes, anywhere from the neck down. And at that point, I didn't even know we had other things like skincare and all these other incredible products. And 
but I was like, nope, never heard of it. And so she explained everything to me and I was like, I just had my son a couple months uh, earlier. And so I, I wasn't very confident in my stomach area because of my son did some damage on my stomach. <laughs> and so I wanted to feel that confidence back. So I saw the value in trying a wrap and I invested and I, um, we always say one is a treat and four is a treatment. So I used one and I was like, okay, I see some results, but I want to see more. And so it was kind of like, a, I got hooked. And so, um, I got hooked on like the results. And so I decided to become a customer. I tried a full set of wraps and I was floored by my results. I actually have them. I'll share with you guys, but, or with you. And I, where did I just put them? I have them here. And I completely was just flabbergasted on what my results were because I had no idea what these were. Just a couple, um, couple, months prior as well as I just didn't know that my body could still do that <laughs> after having a baby and look like this and so this is my before and I wish I had a side view so you can really see like the the mommy pudge I call it so the below the belly button above a hoo-ha but um this was the before and this was the after so it was two and a half weeks in between these two pictures and I didn't work out I was very conscious of what I was eating and I was eating clean and then I also was drinking lots of water but if I was able to do that with also doing all my regular stuff with raising a child that you can do that too if you want to be seeing results but I was flabbergasted by my results and so I needed to share it with other people I started to notice that I was telling my mom my sister my best friends my people at my my school my work like I started just telling everybody because I was like oh my gosh I was just excited that I was like, you gotta do this too. And I noticed that I was doing what she was doing. I just wasn't getting paid for it. But at that time in my life, I was not ready to add anything else into my, my routine. You know, I was working full time. I was going to school part time. I was living with my parents, raising a newborn, trying to balance everything. But I just thought I didn't have time. But the thing is like, we all have time. It's just, you have to really focus on, you know, there's times where maybe you need to wake up a little bit earlier. Maybe there's times where um, they're like, while you're waiting at the parent pickup line, maybe it's when, you know, you gotta go to bed a little bit uh, later. Maybe it's time where, you know, you have a schedule and you see exactly the times that you have things going on and you see little pockets of your day that there's not things going on. And that's how I started to work this business when I got started was in pockets. And then those pockets turned into consistency and being dedicated and doing the work. And then I was able to then become a stay at home mom. So I'll get into that in a second. But, um, so in, so I had the, I tried the wraps, the full set of wraps. I was obsessed. Then time went by eight months later and I, had that moment where if you have never had this moment in your life, then you will probably have it um, sometime in the next five years. Um, if you have had it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when I explain this. This feeling, you'll probably take yourself back into that moment that you had that feeling because it is the defining moment of a lot of our lives. And so um, I will try really hard not to cry, but I can already feel it bubbling. Um, so. Um, April 2015, I was in the bathroom at my work and I was pumping and um, I was sitting on the toilet, the hard toilet seat, and I was crying and I was just like, God, God, there's got to be something more. There's got to be something more to this life than just waking up, going to work, going to school, never seeing my son, missing out on all of, all of his moments. You know, you can't take back those moments, and especially the very beginning of a child's life, you know, when they're born until they get into the kindergarten, kindergarten stage. Like, that is the most precious moments, and I didn't want to miss any of them, but I just didn't know how. I didn't have the answer. You know, I searched on Pinterest. I searched on Google, like, how to make extra money from phone, how to make extra money without getting another job, like, all these things, because I didn't want to have to sacrifice more time away from my son, but I wanted to be able to provide more for my son in a better future. And so I'm in the bathroom and I'm break I'm having the biggest breakdown of my life. And um I just I just talked to God and I was like, I, I need an answer, like I need a sign. Like I've done research, I'm I've prayed a lot, I don't know, I don't know what else to do. And so I was like, God, just give me a sign. Just give me a sign to show me that there's something more, oh gosh, in this life than just doing what I'm doing. 
And so, um, you know, when you ask, he, he will receive and he will show you what you're asking for and you'll receive. And so um, just a couple minutes later, I get a text message from the girl who I signed up with for the wraps and she was like, um, she sent me a picture of her wearing her baby in one of those baby carriers and she was a stay at home mom of two kids. And um, she said, more mommies need this. You know, she had no idea that I was having a breakdown in the bathroom. I haven't, I didn't talk to her for months, you know, and she messaged me at the right time. And I know that it wasn't just her and it was God giving her the grace to be able to, to message me and, and the nudge to message me about this business. And all I needed to see was somebody else could do it. And so could I, if she could do it, then I could do it. And so, um, so in, um, oh gosh, <laughs> I haven't talked about that in a while. So the next day I signed up, I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't really even understand what, what network marketing was. I didn't understand. I did at that point, I only knew we had wraps. I didn't know we had skincare. I didn't know we had, um, an incredible, um, nutritional, uh, uh, plant-based products. I had no idea anything about the company. I just knew that she could do it so I could do it. And so, I signed up and I got started in my first uh, two months. I made my first $500 extra a month and I was like, oh, I'm rich, I'm rich. Because extra $500 is so much, especially uh, for me when I was in that moment of just just no hope. And so, um, you know, I worked every single day. I was consistent. I was always, uh, I always said like, I want my ne my today to be better than my yesterday. And so, um, I knew I saw the the large picture with this business. I knew that I was going to eventually be able to be at home with him, but I knew that I also had to still keep my other job at that point to st while I was um, developing the business. And and um, so in October, October 2015, so a couple months after starting the business, um, I had to put my son in daycare. Uh, my my mom was watching my son in the beginning of. Um, you know him being little little but it was time to put him in daycare and um, yeah when your heart loves your kids so much and you want the best for your kid and you just want to be with him and when you have to go look for daycares and you go and you I just remember seeing this little kid in this daycare it wasn't Caden it was just this kid when I was like looking at different ones and he was just sitting at the window. I'm sorry. He was sitting at the window and he was just calling for mom. And this was like 11 o'clock. Like this wasn't like a drop off. He was crying. It was middle of the day. And he was just crying and he was just doing the mom, mom. And I was just like, I don't want my son to be ever questioning where I am. I'm so sorry, I was not expecting to cry. And so that moment, I just decided I'm going all in. I need to work this business so much for him, for me, for our future. So I still had to put him in daycare because it's just life. I had to do it at that point. I found incredible daycare, it wasn't that one. It was an at-home daycare. She was incredible. But my heart was, was literally breaking without being with him. And so I, I worked so hard between that um, August or October into the next year. And when I, um, March 2016, so a year in the business, I was able to clock out for the last time in my job I decided to stop going to school um, because I knew that this was my career. I knew that being able to help other people with their health and their wellness and to be able to help other people with their dreams and their ambitions, that was my career. That was my, my um, reason. That was my gift that God gave me. And it might be yours too, you never know. And I didn't know when I got started. I had no idea what I was doing, but I developed into learning. Like. I wanted to help other people. I wanted to show that you can be successful, that you can dream these big, 
outrageous dreams and make them come true if you are dedicated if you put in the work and if you are consistent you will make those dreams come true and this business has been the vehicle to be able to do so many different things for my family and um so in March 2016, I became a stay-at-home mom, and I've been a stay-at-home mom ever since. So it's been almost, almost, gosh, 16, 17, 18, 19, we're going into 2020, almost four years I've been a stay-at-home mom. And in those, um, those four years, gosh, I can't even, there's so many things that's happened, but just to give you a couple of them are... I moved out of my parents' house. I was able to buy a new car, which has all the bells and whistles, and which I still don't know how to use half of them because <laughs> I'm so tech technology like challenged. Which, if I can work this business, you can because I didn't know anything about like social media or tech stuff or you know um, using a phone. And um, but I was able to pay off two credit cards. I had a credit card that I had um, since I was 18, and I that was my first credit card that I got to pay off because of this business. And I thought that I'd had that credit card until I was like dead <laughs> because it just kept accruing and accruing and accruing. And then with this business, I was able to make those extra payments on it and then pay it off. And it was the most accomplished moment of my life because it was one of those moments where you just realize, okay, if I can do that one, then I can get my second one, then I can get my third one. Because being, um, you know, paycheck to paycheck before working this business and being a single mom and just all the expenses and everything, I put a lot of it on credit card. And so um, being able to pay off those two credit cards was such a relief for me. Um, I lost a whole bunch of weight, so I wanted to share this with you guys. So um, I decided to go on my own weight loss journey. So this was in December 2017. And then in this is is um, April 2018. And so I had to share with you guys my results. Um, because of this business, because of our natural um, plant-based products and just being consistent with them. It's done so much for me. Um, I never had to miss out on Caden's moments, and that's the biggest thing. Being able to, um, you know, potty train him, being able to teach him to ride a bike. I didn't have to watch his moments over FaceTime anymore. Um, I was able to, when I was... <laughs> Um, doing school stuff. I was able to pay for my books in cash, you know, things like that to where, um, you know, the, your goals may not be what my goals were. Um, but this business, like I said before, is like the vehicle to help you be able to, um, pay for those things. And, you know, money doesn't make the world go round, but it does make it easier. Um, and so, in 2020, some goals of mine is to, I'll be buying my own, my first house, which I'm so excited. I never thought that was possible, especially being a single mom, but um, it's happening and it's in the works already. I'll be debt free, 100% debt free before my 30th birthday, which is so exciting. Um, and I'm so excited to be able to tithe and give like so abundantly in 2020. That's going to be my, my goal. And, um, I would like to be able to tithe my first $10,000, um, in one month. And so if you don't know tithing, um, in the Bible and everything, it says to tithe 10% of your earnings. And so I would have to make a hundred thousand dollars a month to be able to tithe the $10,000 in that one month. And so I know that sounds absolutely crazy because I got started in this business for $500. I wanted to pay for it. The initial was to pay for my insurance. And then it was, okay, I, I could make it this much. Then I can be able to stay at home with my son. And then I could be, you know, I could um, fulfill my whole regular nine to five income and replace it with now this. And then it turned into, like it just it escalated and escalated because this business has allowed me to be able to dream in such a high level that I never thought I'd be able to dream and be able to give me hope for our future. Um, so that's my 2020 goals. And, um, oh, I forgot to say, so in 2019, so in this year, beginning of this year, I saw my first five figure a month paycheck. You guys, when you see two numbers in front of a comma in a one month paycheck, it is like the most blissful feeling <laughs> you could ever feel. I explain it into the way of when I saw a comma in my paycheck, so like when it was like a thousand dollars, I felt proud of myself. I felt so proud that I was able to bring home, you know, a paycheck that had a comma in it. But when I saw two numbers in front of that comma, I saw hope. I saw my son and I's future. I saw 
you know, being able to provide him a car when he gets to turn 16, being able to tithe in incredible ways and be able to help so many of other people, be able to help my, you know, my church and be able to be a mega church and plant a new, um, a building and be able to, you know, pro help provide for that. I was able to see, you know, whenever I get married in my future to have like my dream wedding, you know, being able to, um, provide for my future kids, like all these different things. I saw that in that moment of seeing that paycheck because I felt peace to know that I, I did it. Like this business works if you work it and you can do it. I'm like nobody special. I'm just Megan from Florida. <laughs> and now you know a little bit about me and my heart and and how this business was brought into my life, which was, it was all a God thing. And like the biggest thing for me is like, this business is um, Christian based, family owned and debt free. And those are three really important things to know because our, we're, our foundation of our company is the faith of our company. And um, it, you can tell everything we do is led with our faith. Um, and being family owned, everything, you know, they encourage us to do things with our family. They, they want us to do things with their family. You know, um, it's a husband and wife who own the company and then their kids also do the, um, like they, they train us, their kids train us and their kids are also in the company, like in the field in the company as well. Um, but also being debt free because a lot of our bonuses that we get, so I've earned over a hundred thousand dollars in bonuses in the last, um, six, five years that I've been in the business. Like that's crazy. But, um, with it being debt free, the company, that means a lot of our bonuses, almost all of them. Sometimes we'll have little bonuses here and there, like a cruise bonus or a trip bonus, but almost all of our bonuses are cash bonuses so that you can pay off debt. They want us and encourage us to be debt free because they know that weight that will be lifted off your shoulders. And because of our companies being debt free, they can actually give us like the cash rather than all these extra incentives of like car bonuses and trip bonuses and stuff like that. Like, no, they give us cash so that we can pay off our debts. Um, when I started this business though, I was terrified because I didn't know what I was doing. I saw the vision and I knew that I wanted to get there, but I was like, what do I do? But the best part about this business is that you always have somebody with you to be able to help you along the way. And so that would be me for you. I would be your sponsor. And then you'd also have a co-sponsor to where we're handholding you if that's what you need to be able to uh, be successful in this business because every single day you learn something new. And as long as you're open to learning and teachable and being able to just put in the work, even if it's just a couple, like maybe it's 15 minutes here and 15 minutes there. That's literally how I started my business. I started my business when I was, <laughs> so crazy to say this, but when I was like peeing on my breaks at um, school, um, when I was like breastfeeding and Caden like would fall asleep, you know, when I was on the way, to, I had a 45 minute drive to school and then a 45 minute drive on the way back. So like I would drive the 45 minutes, pump on the way, get there, have five minutes to spare before I had to get into class. So I'd work my business for five minutes and then I'd get right into my, my schooling and then do the same thing. I get in the car, work for five minutes, drive home 45 minutes, work my car for five minutes, go inside Caden. So like you, you find those pockets to, to work your business. And maybe, you know, it is, you want to work eight hours a day in this business, whatever it is that you want to do, you get to decide because you're your own boss. You get to be the, um, the, the person who's going to make the schedule for yourself. You get to, you get to decide where you want to work, how much you want to work and how much you want to make because you essentially write your own paychecks. And so the more you put in, the more you're going to get out in a business like this. Um, but I'll wrap this up and just let you know, like, I'm so passionate about what I do. I hope that you you could feel that <laughs> because of, um, all that I've told you and my backstory and how I got started. And my goal in life is just to help other people be able to find this freedom as well. And to be able to, whether it be stay at home with your kids or your future kids, or be able to pay for your college or be able to just dream and dream bigger. Because I think that sometimes, you know, we just as adults forget to dream. And so I want to be able to cast that vision for you and know that anything is possible as long as you put in the work, you're being consistent and you believe in yourself. And if you don't believe in yourself yet, I will start to believe in you first until you can find that confidence in yourself because that's what I needed in the beginning of this business. I needed that girl who got, I got started with to be confident in my in me and tell me like, you can do this, you can do this until I, be I believed I could actually do this. And that was when I saw those paychecks rolling in. 
But my goal in 2020 is to help so many people be able to find these, these um, find, or to, to create um, these financial freedoms to be able to make some friendships like our friends in this business. We're like quirky, fun. Also, like we, we are goal driven, but we like to have a good time. <laughs> So if you like to laugh, if you like to have a good time, if you like to just, just be able to laugh again in life, like you're with us. We got room for our table for you, but, um, I just want to be able to help you guys, you, and to be able to, um, fulfill those dreams that you have, whether it's just a couple dollars on the side or whether it's to do this full time, I'm here for you when you're ready. And if you're ready now, get in my messages, get in my my um, DMs, or you can just text me. My phone number will be in the, in the, um, the description below, but um, you can text me the word opportunity and we'll kind of get started there. But um, just know that, you know, you have to make a change to have a change. You cannot do the same thing over and over again and expect a, expect a different result because it will not have a different result. You know, in five years from now, if you think about this, are you okay with what where you're at and what you're doing right now five years from now? Or do you want more? Do you want more for yourself? Do you want more for your family? Do you want more freedom? Do you want more freedom of time? Do you want more freedom of finances? Do you want more... Um, do you just want more? Do you want more confidence? All that can happen because this business is that vehicle to make all those dreams come true. And I will be here all along the way to be able to handhold if that's what you need or I'll walk side by side with you or I'll run with you. Whatever you want to do, I am here to be able to help you do that. But thank you so much for watching to the end of this. It means so much to me. So sorry I cried. <laughs> it's just I'm so you know, looking back on what my past was and where I am now and where I'm going, it's just ast astronomically different and in increased in a positive way. And I'm so thankful and blessed to have this business in my life. And I just cannot wait to see what 2020 brings. And I hope that you are going to be there with me to be able to, um, for me to be able to help you do yours as well. So get in my messages. Bye.